games left. Six games for us to win our first ever Premier League title. First up, we're away at Stamford Bridge. Then we take on Everton. If we have a look at our remaining fixtures, after that is Leicester at home, Tottenham and Forest away, and Manchester City at home. We have a three-horse race. As we know, Liverpool have got... They've got quite a run in as well. They have got Leicester away, then Brighton at home, Leeds at home, uh, two away games at Norwich and Everton, and then finish with Chelsea at home. And Manchester United, well, they are the ones with the hectic fixture because they are still in the Champions League and they are still in the FA Cup, which means they're not actually playing in the league this uh, this weekend they are taking on Burnley and then they will take on Burnley in the Premier League. They've got a Champions League game against Bayern Munich in the semi-final all the way through this as well. You've got lots of away games as well. Look at this. Villa, Leicester, Norwich, Arsenal all the way and a Champions League second leg in Munich as well. So five away games on the bounce. If travelling was ever an issue in Football Manager... It's got to hit them. It really has, surely. And they finish at home to Brighton. So it's going to be a really, really tough uh, end to the season for everybody, I think. Um, this is a team that we are going with. We're straying from the last episode, of course. Uh, Johnny is back in four days. So he should be fit for the next match um, against Everton. He's because we, it's, an, it's a week between the two games, which is fantastic. Ruben Loftus-Cheek comes into the team. He hasn't started much, uh, but he comes in. Uh, it's Chelsea away. I didn't want to bring in a youngster like Facundo Jordan uh, for this game, but I will happily bring him off the bench if I need to. Uh, so they've got Edouard Mendy, Reese James, Nicolas Sula, uh, Nico from Barcelona, Danny Olmo, former Barcelona youngster that uh, is at Leipzig at the minute, Oscar Mingetha. Wow, they've just been buying Barcelona players. Uh, right, I am going to. We're away, aren't we? Pump fists, play for the fans, and they'll give us a boost. Yeah, it's motivated everybody. Liverpool not in action, doesn't really know. It doesn't matter, does it, when they play? Excited by the prospect of Derby Day. Yep. So we beat Chelsea in the FA Cup at Stamford Bridge earlier in the season. So a repeat of that would be fantastic. We are the first game kicking off. We don't uh, we don't need the latest scores up. So they're playing a 4-3-3, but with a slightly more defensive centre midfielder in Nico Gonzalez. Uh, and I am going to drop an early courage. I mean, on the face of it, I probably would take a point out of this game. But of course, that could let in Liverpool to get above us and Man United, of course, with their game in hand. So it could be two points dropped rather than a point gained in the grand scheme of things. But away at Chelsea... That's the sort of result you would take a draw, wouldn't you? That's that's just that's just the way it is. Especially if we go behind here. Danny Olmo back to Rhys James. Sula to Olmo. Lukaku. Oh, and Rhys James, of all people, is in. He's going to square it. Oh, no. Pulisic. It's in. It is in. Christian Pulisic, we'll have to watch the replay of that because for some reason it just decided, since the update, I don't know, it can't just be my laptop, since the update it's doing this quite a lot, let me know if if yours is as well, but it seems fine when you, uh, when you watch the replay, it's weird, it did it in the last episode, I will definitely take a draw now, that is for sure. We're, we're doing, we're getting, we're getting shots, but I'm guessing they're long shots because the XG is 0.16. Suchek scored in his last three games. Tries to turn provider. Got no support here, but he's gone to Alex Tellez. Switch the ball, switch it. Declan Rice to Rafinha, loft his cheek. On Rafinha's hit one. Went just wide. What I am going to do is I'm going to drop it to the KG. So corner's headed away and Pulisic will get to it. Havertz, Zuma does well, that is uh, obviously on his old stomping ground, Vlaovic couldn't go for that, it would have been offside, and we've given the ball up, oh and Pulisic is in again, and it's a good save, oh and Tellez has kept it in as well, that was a really good save, almost first time ball, and we were still playing the high line and everything there. 
it hasn't gone through yet, the tactical change, does mean at the minute that's going to put Loftus-Cheek as the defensive mid. Should we change that around? Because Declan does like being there. He does like playing as a DM, Declan Rice. So we're kind of matching them up a little bit now, but they're playing with two Mazalas. Here's Mason Mount across to Olmo. Nico Gonzalez. They're just knocking it around, toying with us a little bit here. It's really, really slow tempo. Out to Pulisic. Mount back to Nico. Oh, they're just. They're doing what Real Madrid did to us. They're just toying with us. And Lukaku's in. Oh! It's taking the leather off the ball there and put it in the crowd. It's another lovely move, though. Don't know why he went with his left. Surely he could have put that away with his, with his right. I don't care, though. He missed it. I am going to do demand more. Because this just isn't working at the minute. I mean, we, we've got the shots. But as you can see, I mean, the XG for us is 0.34. And theirs is nearly 1. So, clearly, our shots are, look like they're from range. I'm not sure what I've got with this tactic in terms of the instructions. It wasn't good enough, was it, really? What have we got as the instructions? More direct. It's set to a higher tempo. Which I might take down. Set with a direct passing, so you can't really do work the ball into the box. We won't do the early crosses, so we'll just do that. No one needs to come off just yet. We'll get into them with an encourage, because no matter what happens in this highlight, we'll either be drawing or losing 1 or 2 nil. Merrick's gone long, which is one of the... Uh, one of the instructions on this particular tactic. Loftus cheek now. Done all right. Johnson will hit the ball in. Suchek will get the header. It was always going to be tough to score from there. Possession is massively in Chelsea's favour at the minute. They're not getting in behind us really, are they? We have it set to a cautious mentality on this one. Uh, Rafinha is going to have to come off for Jared Bowen. Vlaovic as well who's had a stinker but for to take because this one Vlaovic is a target forward so if I change that to pressing forward on attack and then I will bring on Julian Alvarez Loftus-Cheek and Declan Rice are both struggling so I might bring on camera for Rice and then he'll slot in nicely if we do go back to the standard 4-3-3 and I am aware that's all my change has made now. I did like it when it was five. Did like five changes. Okay, we're going to go back to the positive one. Which does mean now, camera's on the CM attack, which is perfect. I'm happy with that. Can we get a point out of this? This is going to be a damaging defeat. I feel like we're going to have to win the last five if we lose this one. You've got to say, looking at that, we deserve a draw out of this now. This is this is hard. This is a tough defeat to take. Might not end in defeat. Oh, Suchek didn't get through there. Lukaku. Hudson-Odoi. Pulisic. To wrap it up. Merritt with the save. Havertz blocked. Maddy Camera plays it forward for Alvarez. Kingsley Coman. Looking for the run of Alvarez, but he hasn't, wasn't reading it. And that is it. And we have lost 1-0 at Chelsea. Oh, that, that is annoying. That is really annoying. That is, that is just, that hurts. That is, that is frustrating. Because, we, you know, we could be third by the time we come to play Everton now. Oh, right. Let's fast forward through then. And we'll see what the damage is before we, uh, we welcome Everton. Look at all that red. After 
all that brilliant form. Whoa, that's a lot of red. And just like that, we are third. So Liverpool did us a favour. They dropped points at the King Power against Leicester in a 2-2 draw. They came from behind twice, actually, in that game. And Man United have won on the Friday night. They've beaten Burnley, who are now relegated, by three goals to nil. Obviously, after this uh, weekend, Man United will have a game in hand again. Um, so, yeah, we, it's imperative that we win. Liverpool are at home to Brighton, so, who are six. So it would be a tough game for them. But they probably will win it. We will fast forward through and just have a, have a double check before uh, we sign off this video. But we've got to win this game. It's that's that's all there is to it. If we don't win this, then I think we're I think we're in real trouble when it comes to winning the title. Uh, so I think I've only made oh no I've made four changes I think three changes. Uh, Vlasic is back in. He wasn't quite fit enough to play at Stamford Bridge, and I've changed the two wingers around as well. So. We will get into this. Yeah, three changes. Out go Loftus Cheek, Rafinha, and Kingsley Coman for Vlasic, Bowen, and Boga. So let's get into the. I mean, I'm going to be nervous. I am going to be really nervous. I want us to get an early goal, is what I want. Um, will it happen? I have no idea. We're in a bad run of form. We saw all that red. Uh, you can see it here. Chelsea, two games against Real Madrid and Brighton that we've lost. Will you look to attack? Yes. We're in a strong place. We need to win this game. We need to end the month on a high. Interesting formation they're playing. 4 2 3 1, but it's very, very narrow. Very, very narrow. With Calvert Lewin playing in behind Richarlison. Let's see how that works for them. Mina hits it forward. Calvert Lewin's won the header. Iwobi to Decore. Forward it goes. Todibo wins that one, though. Rice to Vlaovic. Jared Bowen, Declan Rice on the move. He's going to have to pull it across. He does to Suchek, and he. That is a sitter. By Thomas Suchek standards, that is a sitter. So they play around at the back and then thump it forward. I mean, Jordan Pickford could do that for you. To Debo to Tellez. Now Suchek to Boga. It's a good start from us. Oh, but Vlasic has given it away. Zuma with a big header there, though, and Vlaovic. Vlasic to Bowen. Streaming forward to get into the box. It's looking for Vlaovic. It was low enough, but it wasn't between the posts. But it's all right. It's not a bad opening 10 minutes from us. Another aimless ball from Moreno. Everton have to play Liverpool as well, I think. I think there's a Merseyside derby between now and the end of the season. And Vlaovic, it's on his favoured foot. Outside of the foot and it's in. I think that stands. Come on. Oh, it doesn't. I don't... Re I've, again, let me know. Since the, up the winter update, this just seems to be happening all the time now. Every time there's a VAR check on offside, it just seems to be disallowed. Every time now. 15 minutes in. Let's just encourage, encourage, encourage. We need to win this. Man United have gone clear at the top. And we'll have a game in hand. So if we don't win this and claw it back, and they win their game in hand, I mean, it's their title, isn't it? That's a lovely ball. Oh, my. He was offside, but that is a god-awful effort. I mean, we shouldn't. We don't need to be seeing it. He was offside, but that is just... I'm glad the flag was up. That was abysmal. They seem very detached, don't they? There doesn't, there's no link from midfield to attack. There are no wingers. I don't know how they're supposed to get the ball forward to anybody. Suchek here now. He's lost out though. And this is how they do it on the counter-attack. But that's a terrible pass. And Richarlison with a big challenge. But Ben Johnson will clear it up. Doesn't use his keeper. Goes to Todibo. Declan Rice now. Out for Bowen. Is he going to get to it? No. Alberto Moreno does. 
Oh, and they're in now. And he's gone for the lob, Alex, he will be. This is going to be one of those videos, isn't it? If we lose another two on camera, <laughs> that will not be good. I mean, obviously, we did, our, did ourselves proud against Real Madrid. But we did ultimately lose both games. And I don't really know what I'm supposed... I mean, what is going on with the finishing? 14 shots. Do we... Can we see... Can we not see clear-cut chances? No. Who's doing... Oh, I don't even know what all that means. <laughs> I'm looking at it. I have no idea what it means. Uh, oh, what's the uh, what's the assistant saying? The media have given you a lot of credit. I'm just going to say we'll get there eventually. Because we've had a lot of shots. Let's bring up the match stats. Or not, at the minute. Alex Tellez. Suchek. Jarrah Bowen. Compl what the hell? Why did we see that highlight? There was there was no shot there. Right, let's have a look at the match stats. Again, it doesn't work. <laughs> highlight again. I'm going to pause it next time and do it. I just want to see how... Because we've got an, a, an XG of 1. Round about 1. So I just want to see if we're taking too many long shots. Because we have got it set to work the ball into the box on this tactic. So I just want to see if we are actually doing that and if it's just a bad day in front of goal I mean this is lovely lovely play but we're getting nowhere with it but it's keeping hold of the ball it's stretching the play we're going wide where they haven't actually got any players and that's a great ball through Flaovic takes the touch and I don't know what you're doing at the back there but why has Vlaovic hit the post it is one of those days I mean, you took the touch. You took the touch to steady yourself. And I don't know why you didn't just take Pickford out there. Right, I am going to... That... I mean, we're up to 1.56 now. On the old XG count. But apparently that wasn't a clear-cut chance. We've had five half chances. Hit the woodwork once. Where's the long shot stat? Let's add that in. We've only had four. So only four out of 17 have been long shots. So I think it's just... A, I mean, we've just seen it there, haven't we? It's just it's just a bad day, a day of bad finishing by the look of it. Jeremy Boga's having an absolute stinker, so he can come off. And I'm actually going to bring on Julian Alvarez. I don't think I've got... Oh, I have got Meraviglia on the bench. The thing is, I do think if Vlaovic gets a chance, he will score. If he gets another chance, he will score. I don't know what, what to do here. I'm going to berate them. That's motivated a lot of them. I mean, come on. get Find the goal, boys. Just find the goal. Please, just find the goal. Johnson down to Vlasic. Cross it goes. It's cleared away. Oh! Oh! He's headed over looking for a the penalty here this is the sort of game where this is the sort of break that we need this is one of those games where you need this to be given I, I mean we'll probably miss it but we need it to be given and it is given Alex Tellez is taking it I was going to change it to Suchek but Dusan Vlaovic is good but he's got a 6.5 and he's only scored one out of two. Tellers has scored one out of one. Suchek has scored three out of three. It's got to be Su If I give it to Vlaovic, he's going to miss. I changed that. He's given it to Tellers. Oh, I changed that. Why did it not register? Doesn't matter, though. He scored. Alex Tellers. 15 minutes to go. I will make a couple of changes now. Oh, that is relief. That is relief. But I've just got this horrible feeling they're going to go up the other end and get one. Uh, right, Declan Rice can come off. And I will bring on Maddie Camera. And I'm going to bring off Vlasic for Johnny. 
because Johnny's back from injury and I need to get some minutes in. It's only 15 minutes, but I need to get some minutes into him. It does put us temporarily top until Liverpool kick off against Brighton. And incidentally as well, I think... I think ourselves and Liverpool play in midweek when Man United are playing Bayern. Which means that they're going to have two games in hand on us. Which is ridiculous, isn't it? Just finish now. Just finish. Yes. I mean, we needed that. Not just to get back top of the league. We needed that to end the run of form that we've been on. Um, I mean, we beat Norwich between the two Real Madrid games. But the two Real Madrid games, the Chelsea game, we needed that win. And just the fact that they kept going. That's what pleases me the most. They just kept going. They kept going. Uh, Suchek. I'm sorry, mate. I tried to give you the penalty. I don't know what happened there. Don't know what happened. I tried to give you the penalty. But we scored it anyway. It doesn't matter. Was there no... There was no... There was no tunnel interview there, was there? That's weird. Uh, West Ham qualified for the Europa League. Nice. That should have happened ages ago, I thought. How are we only just in the Europa League? When... I don't, I don't, I mean, we're, we're qualified for the Champions League, I think. No, Chelsea could just get above us for that, couldn't they? But they won't. Have we got a, have we got a post-match or are we going to go straight to the other games? I might treat you and do the post, um, do, if there is a presser, I might do it on camera. I might treat you to it. Let's have a look. So, yeah, we've got Leicester on Wednesday. It is at home, but they are eighth. It's going to be another one of those tough games. But that will be the first match of the next episode. All right, we'll fast forward it and we'll see how Liverpool have got on. Oh, they've done it, Liverpool. They've beaten Brighton 3-2. It looks closer than it was. They were actually 3-0 up in the first half. And it wasn't 3-2 until the 94th minute. They did have Benjamin Pavard sent off, though. So that could be a bit of an expensive one um, for a suspension. But they are back on top with a 20 goal difference superiority on us um, Man United don't play now until the weekend we play oh no they play on the Thursday they're away at Villa the day after we take on Leicester and Liverpool take on Leeds and then but they, their game in hand is actually away at Arsenal but it's not until the 15th of May which is between the um our 37th and 38th game so it's going to be really really tight all the way through so yeah that is it for this video though as always smash a like uh, subscribe turn on those notifications that does just look nice doesn't it having that little green dot there as we go into the last month of the season the next episode then is the next two games Leicester and Tottenham they're big games aren't they join me for it